Hey everyone, it's another Mongo here with K-pop Oracles and we got Mochi kind of chirping in the background right there. We're bringing you another K-pop tarot reading. Alright, so today's reading is going to be about Kun? Kun? I think that's how you say his name. He's a member of NCT and also Wavy. So we're just going to ask the cards, you know, what's he like when he's, I guess, with his NCT groupmates and what's he like with, you know, when he's around his Wavy groupmates. So basically it's a personality reading, okay? So let's get started. Let's start with, um, I guess, what's he like when he's around NCT members? What is Kun? 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 I'm not very good at pronouncing names, I'm sorry. What is Kun like when he's around NCT members? We have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, when he's around them, he's he's very giving, okay? Like he's really nurturing or just, you know, like, the, yeah, the type of person that will give, give, give and doesn't expect anything in return. So I feel like he's always like maybe um, looking out, you know, for his NCT members or constantly, like he's the type that would like have their back. We have the seven of wands here, okay. Huh, it could be so there's some obstacles in a way. Could be some hurdles maybe. Uh, I don't know if it's external or just internal in general, but it just seems like maybe there's um, maybe a lot of competition, maybe a little friendly rivalry going on. We have the two of wands, okay? So I think he enjoys really traveling with his NCT members or in general, like he, he enjoys working with them. He like, he finds this connect, like this to be like a really successful, harmonious, like business partnership. We have the Knight of Swords, okay. Uh, I guess when he's around, like around him, he's he's like this Knight of Swords, okay, like really, really aggressive, okay, when it comes to his goals or life purpose. So I guess he's, yeah, really aggressive, like really goes after what he wants, like not afraid to kind of take charge or take the lead. Oh my gosh, too many cards fell out. Okay, not gonna read them, but put them back in the pile. Okay, and we have the moon. Okay, the moon can, be, can mean a few things, okay? I mean, it's, I guess its overall meaning is kind of so-so. Maybe there's just a lot of, at times there can be some sort of confusion between him and the NCT members, or just some sort of disappointments or some sort of conflict, I don't know, maybe. Maybe there's just like a just a language barrier of some sort in general, or confusion in general, and uh, it could mean that like when he's around him, like he's he's very cautious, okay, or he's just he kind of gives off a mysterious vibe. Like he doesn't always like he doesn't really reveal a whole lot about himself. He kind of keeps it a mystery, or people are just like constantly like um, like he's like he's like a like a giant question mark, I guess. What else? We have Venus, love. Okay, so I guess when he's around his NCT members, he feels he feels beautiful. Like he's like inside and out. Like Venus is a god of beauty of uh, you know god or not god sorry goddess of beauty and love, and I guess they like he he feels like a million bucks when he's around him too. So I mean this this card can also mean like bouginess or luxury, and yeah he feels really comfortable. I guess like comfortable with like like in his own skin when he's around him, and 
really feels like he's like really on top of the world or just like really I, I guess maybe feel, feels like in general like maybe well liked by a lot of people maybe he likes to go shopping with them too We had the third house perception, third house perception. Uh, okay, so, okay, it has to do with, okay, I think it has to do with social media, right? So, uh, it could be that when, like, when he's around them, maybe he's just like constantly, I don't know, like looking like what other people are up to on social media, okay? Or just like constantly analyzing people or observing like he's very observing observant or really self-aware or just able kind of like um or tries to like kind of read the energy in the room or try to like he's very good at kind of like um reading people or analyzing people or and he's also it could also mean that he's very like when he's around them he can be really social okay like he they he can be really extroverted We have silver, silver. Yes, when he's around his NCT members, he feels like he has to work his butt off, like really, um, like really do a good job. Like really, um, if there's difficult situations, he has to like remain calm or really strong, like really, like really persistent or persevere. We have Scarlet. Yes. Uh, this is, it says attract success. Scarlet attracts su su success. So, yeah, so I think it, like when he's around them, he feels like really, like just someone who's like, you know, a million bucks, so, like really successful, really, really talented, or just able to kind of captivate a lot of people. So he feels like, um, like it's just someone like someone who's like really magnetic or just able to kind of win a lot of people over. All right, so let's see what's I guess what's he like when he's around Wavy? What is Kun Kun like when he's around Wavy? We had the two of spears, two of spears. Okay part of traveling I think he's just he just loves um, traveling with them he just likes likes planning you know f um, new projects with them as well we have the moon <laughs> the moon popping out again okay when he's around, okay, maybe he just gives off mysterious vibes, okay, or he just like, maybe he's like his outer appearance doesn't match his inner, like pers like his inner appearance, okay, or inner like personality. Um, so he's kind of like a puzzle, maybe just like to like around like to his members, like a big question mark, or he just gives off like yeah, just gives off mysterious vibes at times. We had the Knight of Coins. I think that like when he's around them, like he's very patient. He's really calm as well, and he's just someone who's very a careful thinker, like really methodical, really analytical as well. And he, I guess like he's he also feel like he's just someone who's when he's around them, he's like, I guess like really loyal, okay, or he feels comfortable around them, like he's. He feels like he can kind of be himself maybe a little bit. Or people think that he's someone that, you know, like people can depend on.
We have the two swords. He's very observant. Like he's always like watching things from afar or just uh, or just someone who thinks big picture, okay? Like or, or someone who's very analytical. When he's around yeah, when he's around him, he's very analytical. He takes a lot of time to make a decision on things. Like he's constant like always like he spends a lot of time weighing the pros and cons of a lot of things. We had the eight of coins. He works his butt off when he's around his wavy members. Like he puts in a lot of effort. Like he's not lazy. Like he's He's just someone who is very hardworking, really ambitious. Hey, what else? What's he like when he's around wavy members? We have Don Juan. Don Juan. Okay. Yeah, again, like he's. I guess he's not afraid to be himself when he's around them. Like, like when he's with them, he's he's almost like a like a really like I don't know like almost ex like really extroverted. Okay, just really can be really charming as well, or really seductive. I mean, that's what Don Juan is like really seductive or really flirtatious. We have servant, servant, okay. He does have a really loving, nurturing side too, okay. Like he's probably the type that just like really takes good care of his his wavy group mates and maybe just like constantly feeding them too. Like with this, like this person with the bowl of soup here, like making sure that they're well, like well nourished and well taken care of. It's like a parental figure. All right, what else? We have ten house reputation. Yeah, he feels like when he when he's around him, he feels like he has to be responsible, okay, or really set a good example to the other members, and he has to kind of exude like a, or command authority or responsibility, and also just set a good example with other for others, but also like kind of be like this Don Juan here, this like really. <laughs> really f silly, really like really charming. We have Libra, the idealist. Libra, the idealist. Yes. So he feels calm. Like I think maybe just calmer when he's around his wavy members. Like he he really works well with them. Like he's a like he feels. Um, at peace at or at home and he feels like um, he's just like I, I guess he just feels comfortable around like more like people like maybe he just feels like wavy members in general are just like him or just, they just have a lot in common and I also feel that he's I guess like they treat him like he feels that they treat him very fairly or very well like it's a really well balanced connection Okay, so that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter. You can follow me at kpoporacles1 and Tumblr, kpoporacles.tumblr.com. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye.